This is an addition unit from a computer pioneer named Conrad Zusa, who until the last few years has never received the credit for his ideas in the West. And the reason for that is he was a Nazi scientist. He was not a Nazi himself, but he did work for the Third Reich before World War II and during World War II. He was not allowed to get back into the computing business until the 1950s. Every computing system of any kind operates as a binary system. At its lowest level, zeros and ones. A DVD or a CD has black spots and light spots read by a laser. Punch cards from the old computing systems like the IBM. This is a relay-based system. A relay is either open or closed. Open, no information, closed information. Early computing, this is a recreation from a World War II computer. Post-World War computer, 1950s, 1960s, the Z23. It was not a relay-based system, it was a processing-based system. This particular system belonged to Siemens Corporation, who rescued it from a scrap heap, reconditioned it as best they could, and then presented it to the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California. It's a very modern machine for its time. It did have paper tape. It later had magnetic tape. And it did have direct data input from a control console and from a modified typewriter, which you'll notice in this case does say Siemens. Conrad Zusa, only in the last few years, has been recognized for his contributions. But again, because of his political history, many historians were loath to recognize what he had done in the computing world.